The part I, I am enjoying most, I think it's the dissertation itself, because the courses are, are very interesting and uh, you learn a lot with them. But of course, the dissertation is something you do on your own, something you can do at your own pace and, and because of your interest. So, yeah, the, the motivation is quite different. Yeah, so doing research as, as an MSc is obviously quite different from going just to classes and being taught the things. You have to like, learn so much stuff yourself. It's a big jump, but it's, it, they, they, they help you along with it because obviously during the year we have to do our research proposals and do our presentation. So it prepares us quite well for eventually actually starting doing the research and all of that. So yeah, it's good. For me, the dissertation is one of my most favorite parts about the course. I'm currently doing research with the LHCB group at CERN, and I actually get to go out there to talk about my research, to talk to the physicists there next week. My dissertation is about uh, gravity and quantum physics. I won't go much into detail because it's a bit weird. My project's on a supersymmetry, which is obviously very new beyond the standard model physics. Uh, so and it's not been confirmed yet. So there's like obviously a chance that it could be all complete, like completely wrong, and completely awful. Or there could be a chance that they'll discover at the LHC and it'll be a very good project to work on. So I, the most interesting part is like that it is new physics, that it's on that forefront, that cutting edge, that no one's really sure of what's going on. So it's kind of interesting to be part of that and helping like crack that code, I suppose, of what we're made of. While at first it kind of like seems maybe a bit daunting. But if you, you do it in stages and it's broken down very well, and you're, like my supervisor has been really helpful, in, like setting me up with like whenever I have a problem, I can chat to her. If she doesn't know, she'll send me on someone else who can help me out. And so yeah, it's it's high energy physics, but it's uh, doable. Yeah, from the result of my dissertation, I felt that I had actually achieved some form of research that the physics community could use some real research, which is really what I'm interested in. I appreciate projects that are valuable for educational purposes, but really I'd like to be useful to the physics community at large. So the fact that Edinburgh University gave me an opportunity to do so at master's level is uh, invaluable in my opinion. My dissertation project right now, as I said, is doing data analysis for CERN. I feel very excited that such collaborations are possible and it's been a dream for me for many years to go to CERN. I'm very happy that this is an opportunity that the university and CERN together can actually give me. So there's been a couple of people who've proposed their own projects. One girl uh, wanted to do a condensed matter physics project, so she went to the people in the chemistry who are also working on condensed matter physics and asked them and got her own course. Someone did ask a maths professor for a maths, uh, a maths project and they're working away on that now. Some of the astronomy guys didn't like the choices that they had, so they asked like, could they do something else different within that and they found that someone to do it for them. So there's always like the opportunity to go and ask if, if, you're not, if your choices aren't being catered to, they will like facilitate you and what you want to do. The research I'm doing for CERN right now will actually lead to a publication in the end, um, which I will not be involved with the whole project, uh, but I will definitely contribute to it, which I think is very interesting and definitely a good opportunity being a master's student. By contributing to the actual real world physics research at a master's level, I was very much prepared for my PhD and for further research, and that I understood the kind of from start to finish how a project should look and what you should aim to do uh, to get your work published and to, to get people interested in your work. I think that this project really prepared me very well for my PhD or even for any research uh, environment in the future.